Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was trying to do this to a photograph. Uh, they asked that I did not use their picture, so I've changed it to another picture. Where everything, but almost everything, is, is blurry except for the subject. Much like a vignette, but blurry instead of, I mean, fading it out. A vignette would do uh, a little bit different in, in uh, take away the stuff and it's not going to be blurry. So the way I did it, uh, a couple things you can do is you can hold down the shift key and double click your rectangle tool and that put a rectangle around your picture. And then I would, let's zoom in here and let's take an ellipse, not holding down the control button, just kind of make an ellipse and then grab the pick tool and enlarge the ellipse drag the ellipse and just kind of get what you want. It's got to be inside the picture though. So let's squish it up at the bottom. So let's call that good. And then we're going to nudge it down the same amount of time. And here's kind of the key is to take the smart fill tool and fill that in. It normally would be better if this was just a hair shorter than the picture. Uh, you could do two things. You could, do that because we want the smart fill to leak and, and have really one. And what you could do also is select them both and go CE and it'll center it. Then take the smart fill tool and fill that in. What that did is gave us a, a uh, single unit. So now what we're going to do is take this away, make a copy of our picture and nudge it down. Take this over and nudge it back and then go intersect. And what that did is it gave us this hole. Now we can take the, and the picture is already blurry a little bit on the umpire. Go to effects and blur and gussy and blur or any, you could use motion blur. You know, that might be a little bit of an extreme. So let's back it off a little bit. Hit OK, and then all you have to do is take that blur and move it over on top of your picture, and voila, the uh, clear picture is, is still clear, but now you've got a blur around it. And you could play around with this, and uh, you could actually trace that young man out and blur everything but the young man. And there's several different blurs you could use. You could use, you know, you could use a motion blur. Um, I don't know if I've got enough. Yeah, I still got the picture left. You could go to a, I've never really played around with a motion blur, but you could uh, play around with the blur. That's not really going to work. Well, there we go. That looks okay. But I think the Gussian blur is just as good to nudge that back and do the exact same thing. Just go intersect. Intersect normally gives you a round picture, but in this case, we've blocked it, so it's given us this. I like the Gussie and Blur better. Well, you know what? Let's make sure that other blur is on top. We can see, so there's our blur. It's evidently on top. So it didn't, it didn't do as much of a blur than the Gussian blur, so I still like the Gussian, Gussian blur the most. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. Thank you for watching.